I'm running for ASG president. And I'm running for ASG vice president. Uh, I'm running for ASG president. And I'm running for uh, vice president for ASG. Big thing for us is safety. Um, one thing um, is that, you know, there's car break-ins here a lot. I was actually a victim of it. On the first day of this term, my car was broken into and things were stolen. So our plan is to work with public safety to hopefully get cameras because it was over in the pool parking lot and there's no cameras over there. And so it, our plan is to get hopefully cameras over there to, um, and other places too. So that way um, there will be less car break-ins. Um, and then another thing that is big on safety, because since I am a lifeguard, I am big on safety, so I kind of would like to see first aid kits around more on campus. That way students will know where to go to get a first aid kit if they want, say if they trip or fall, or scrape with their knee, there's a lot of blood, they need bandages and uh, sterile equipment to clean it where paper towels from the bathroom are not that clean and it could get infected. And then... Um, other goals that we did have, we want to make sure that diversity in the culture is all equal and that they're all united, that everyone feels comfortable coming to our campus. Uh, we'd also like to work with other leadership organizations around, where, whether it's clubs, um, the SEED program, any other kind of organization, just so we can have a bigger impact on the goals that we really want to accomplish. So our, our platform is to essentially build unity between every student leadership group on campus. So that includes um, ASG, um, SOAR, um, SOC, all, all the clubs, um, also the co-curricular, like, like the Advocate, the Forensics team, uh, KMH2, just building open lines of communication so that we're all in the loop and we don't have any budding heads of, you know, events. Like, say, um, for one of my events that I had this year, um, the Ultimate Frisbee Tournament, um, that ended up colliding with a Japanese club event, um, which negatively affected my event. And so uh, one of the biggest things that I want to change is just to have stuff like that not happen and also to help the clubs and ASG work together um, as well as uh, co-curricular and you know every student leadership group on campus just to have those open lines of communication so that we can help each other and better benefit the students. Um, what got me involved, I know I started getting involved maybe fifth or sixth grade. I just really liked speaking out for people that couldn't do it themselves because I also had a personal problem with voicing my own um, words out. So I just really wanted to make sure everyone was heard. Um, I became like president of my class, which I know is not a lot, but I started there, started there, started going to like um, different places like homeless kitchens and stuff and helping out. I just really like... Um, engaging with the community and being able to make a difference. Um, and then I've also had my position with um, ASG this year and I think it has prepared me a lot in able to take on this one. Yeah, <clears throat> kind of like the similar, I was involved in a lot in uh, like middle school and high school, a lot with clubs and communities and leadership stuff. A big thing that I was a part of in high school was uh, I was the president of our Key Club, which uh, Key Club is basically a club at high school that does community service for their high school and other communities. Like we did a lot, I had us focus a lot on children's cancer, and we did a lot of fundraisers raising money. We went to a lot of um, like homeless shelters and stuff and uh, fed the homeless, and so it was kind of the same as uh, Josie's. I um, but I've been always big on, you know, helping people and stuff because I really hate seeing people suffer and I, I don't like, you know, when, even when I'm just driving in town and I see people on the side of the street. It really makes me feel awesome. Yes, um, well throughout high school I was dedicated to speech and debate, so I have a lot of public speaking um, uh, education and I was also Rose Festival Princess from um, my high school. And that was a really fun experience, a lot of publicity, a lot of training on speaking and talking to people and learning about how to connect and leadership skills. This term, um, actually last term was, I was able to help create a club, AUW, which I said before about, um, it stands for American Associated University for Women and it helps advocate and empower women through advocacy, education and research. And just this year, even though we've just started this club, we're sending seven women to Washington DC for a learning convention and leadership. So um, 
I believe that I am a good leader. Um, I'm not overbearing, but I'm a go-getter. I get things done, and I, I want to help people. And I love this college. Before I've tried, after high school, I've tried getting into college and sticking with it, and never, I never was able to. It wasn't successful. Um, I didn't feel like I had a support system. I didn't have a great community um, until I came to Mount Hood. And the diversity center has become a second family to me, and my club has become a second family to me. And I want to help other people realize that we are, um, we have great support system at Mount Hood, and there are a lot of resources here. Um, as for experience for me, I've been on um, student leadership since I was in seventh grade, starting out as a seventh grade president and working all the way up to um, in eleventh grade. I started as the vice president to the Clark County Skill Center. Um, and then after that, I got affiliated with a group called Skills USA. Um, I don't know if you've heard of them, but it's a national leadership and technical organization. Um, so they have some broadcasting. Um, uh, competitions, they have architecture competitions, they have leadership competitions, they have all kinds of stuff and I helped put on the um, state comp um, competition, I've said competition too many times, <laughs> but, um, but I was the state secretary for them and then after I graduated and was done with that, I came to Mount Hood and became the um, senator for HP and athletics um, and then I spent all of my first year just learning about how ASU worked how the school works, getting getting acquainted with some of the people, and then last year, this year, um, I became the Health and Wellness Programs Coordinator um, for Student Activities Board, which is a couple steps up from my position last year. Um, so now I'm putting on events, um, coordinating events. I'm just getting. I love this year. I've loved getting to know more of the people on campus. Um, like last year, it was just about getting acquainted with how things work, and this year it's about building the relationships. And I, I feel like. I've done that fairly well. I feel like a lot of people know me and they know how I work and how involved I am with our events and just how our campus works. And um, uh, leadership ability wise, I feel like I can rally people. I can um, be the change that I want to see in the campus. Um, I tend to lead by, learn by experience and lead by example. I say that all the time and I try to live my life that way. Well, I know that um, student government, again, is coming up with their applications. We really do suggest anyone to really apply. There's so many opportunities. You know, even if you don't get a position, you can still come and um, even try to get involved with little things. It's just like you being there and trying makes a difference for everything, and it makes an impact. <clears throat> and just along the lines, too, just with Sometimes the students have ideas, and the, but then they're like, oh, you know, it's not that great, or it's not that big of an idea, it won't make an impact. It will. And so it's like, come to us, you know, come find your people who are student government, and you know, or just your teachers and advisors, and tell them, and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. I'm sure that's a great idea. Like, I'm sure everyone has great ideas. And you know, and with the student government, it's not just one person, it's multiple people. So I guess just my thing is <laughs> outreach and just, um, to people, I guess, you know, and we'll do our best, you know, to come out and communicate with you. Financially, you know, I had a really hard time coming to college, not just because, you know, getting the courage, but to pay for it. And I know that I'm not the only student that, you know, has trouble filling out this FAFSA. And I didn't have support. I didn't know how to do it back at home. And I think, you know, having help here on campus would be really beneficial. And so we're making a link and um, it's for the students to um, you know comment on and saying hey you know I needed help with this this would benefit me and I'm, ha I'm hoping to have workshops you know in the future like come in here more of them for FAFSA and OSAC and or maybe even a class that particular is just and then you just bring it and someone sits down with you and gets the help because it's stressful and mm -hmm. we don't we don't need that stress yeah. Okay um what's the what do we look for on Facebook? Um, it's under community, strength and unity is what you would type community? in. Community? It's under a community page. Oh yeah, so you just go to the Facebook search bar and type in uh, strength and unity and that should pop up. And it's just with YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we, we have a whole bunch of Mount Hood students already mm -hmm. liking the page and already participating in the page. Um, so that would, the icon is just our poster. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Alright, um, that's it.
Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Um, well, I was gonna say. Didn't get an answer. Uh, didn't get to, the <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, I apologize. It's, it's it's completely fine. Um, well, I was just gonna add to to the the link thing. Um, if students are on campus and they they want to come find me or Lindsay and ask mm -hmm. questions, feel free to. I mean, I will sit and talk with people. I'll drop whatever I'm doing unless I'm late to a class, um, which in which case I'll still talk, but I'll keep it briefer. But I'll, feel free to approach me and just ask me whatever you want. Give give feedback. Um, ask me about anything, honestly, and I, I will love to sit and talk to you because I just want to know more about the students and more, know more about what they want. And I want them to know about, more about me and what I want too, and what I enjoy and what I feel for this school. Because I'm honestly, I'm very passionate about what I'm going to do and what I want to have see done here at Mount Hood. And I just want students to be able to come up to me and ask whatever they want about it. So, I just want to, yeah, extend that invitation. I don't bite. Don't worry.